I'm not actually hunting these though, that's the thing. It was just an opportunistic kill. Keep running into animals. <laughs> Um, who was that? MC, MDC design. I'll get it right in a minute. Wow, okay. MDC, welcome to the house. Thank you for your support and a lovely nutty welcome. That was pretty weird. That animal was stood there like it had been stuffed. Pointed a gun at it, shot it, it didn't move, and then it suddenly went, what was that? And then just ran off. Despite the fact that it was a, a vital hit. <laughs> After Squirrel leaves, the uh, reserve has got animals walking around with crutches recovering from all the flesh wounds. Well, if just die quietly, it wouldn't be a problem. Watch all your minds from a car series, so about time I give something back. MDC, thank you, dude. Uh, Chef Jared, thanks for the resume. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. This gun. The 7 mil just drops things. This thing is like multiple shots required. There's one of them anyway. You see how much you can see now? Look at that. Like, after about 10 kills, you compare this and it'll all be washed out and you can't see it properly. So that was in the lungs, and yet it took forever to die. How did it breathe? Mentioned something about headshots. Yeah, don't do headshots. You'll ruin the trophy score. Although you'll kill them quickly, a headshot is um, is not will basically trash your trophy rating because what you need to do is kill them with vital organ shots like a, a spine or a neck or a heart, that kind of thing. The quicker they die, the higher you'll score for a quick kill. And you use the right weapon, you get the integrity bonus and you, and you kill them in the right place and don't ruin the trophy rating. That's how you get a good score. Bleed rate very low. This may not be worth pursuing. Like, it's going to die, but it might die in the next county. Oh, it's down to 0%, that's fine. We'll keep going. Uh, Spine so barbaric in real life, but works great in the game. Yeah. Well, it's, the other thing is like a neck shot, but a neck shot is not easy to get. You need a very accurate shot. There we go. So that one hit the right lung. See, a little bit higher, I could have had the uh, the neck, and a little bit lower, I could have had the heart. Now you can see the weapon a bit there, look at that. Beautiful. What, really? There's an achievement, what, a Steam achievement called This Is Not A Zombie Game by downing 10 animals hitting their brain. What? So 
So we'll work our way around the lake because there's often things around the lake this time of day. No bonzo effect. It's very annoying actually. If you shoot them in the leg, they can continue to run at full speed. And although, you know, to an extent, adrenaline kicks in and they can run on adrenaline, in this game, it doesn't seem to make any difference. It just treats it as a flesh wound. And the fact that you've, even when you harvest it, you actually broke its leg, like you shattered its leg, it still runs around like it's not bothered. Their reaction time on that was amazing. Welcome back, Nata. I shouldn't have gone sprinting my way down to the lake. Yeah, the wildlife are definitely hackers. Rikon, thank you for the resume. an elk warning call. And that's an elk lure. I should do a slow-mo like the sniper game. <laughs> Maybe. I'd rather them fix the actual um, the gameplay. I'd rather them actually fix what's here before they did anything to it. Oh, I missed. Look at that. Have you noticed how the, it, it works like the uh, aperture of your eye? As you look at the sun, it closes it down. When you look away, it opens up. I was going to say, I'm pretty certain that was close to the heart. Crikey. Yeah. So that shattered its leg, hit its lung, but the thing that really killed it was the heart shot. So you get the 100% for a quick kill because it died instantly. You get 100% for integrity because I used the right weapon. Uh, and we get a bonus here because consecutively we've harvested. But we didn't get any trophy because it's just like a female. Lightweight female. Uh, Alright, firefighter. Have a good one. You got massacred by some bison that can knock you 40 feet. Oh my god, bison. <sighs> I... I like I already said, I would run away from anything that weighed 400 kilos. You know what they should do with this game? They should basically take this engine and adapt it into like a wildlife photography sim. Uh, you know, we can like use different cameras and stuff and like full support of aperture, focusing, slow-mo, time-lapse, anything like that. Just go in there and just make like cool stuff. And it'll teach you how to photograph and you can then take those skills and apply it in the real world. Because this game is just amazing. Look at that. Look at the foliage. Animals don't do enough damage. No, not in this game, no. They don't, Dave. They really don't. But that's just a gameplay change. It's not like a real thing. This stream is nuts. <laughs> 
The other hunter, the hunter stream, was one that uh, I was gifted to a sub to you ages ago, Fletchy. Back in December, probably. No, it uses an engine called Apex. I think Just Cause probably uses the Cry engine, at a guess, but I don't know. Oh no, Just Cause is Uplay, is Ubisoft, isn't it? In which case it uses their own engine, and not Apex. No, there are no zombies. <laughs> anyway, so when we cross this border here, we're, ha we're after Coyote. Photographer Call of the Wild. It'd be a great game. People would learn so much about photography. Like, it, it could let you play around with all these lenses and stuff that you can't afford in real life. All the different filters and effects you can use. Start and work at 3am? What? What do you do, Michael Brown? If you don't want me asking. Sounds like security or something, or truck driving. That's an early start, that is. Uh, published by Avalanche. Yeah, but is it the same dev? Stardog. Because, like, the publisher is not the person who developed it, usually. Let's go to that thing while we're on it. Like, if you take, for example, Focus Interactive, they're a publisher but they publish spin tires and farming sim. And I'm pretty certain they don't use the same engine. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the same publisher means it's the same engine. The dev is Avalanche Studios. That's a different story then. What on both of them? Why did I not get a, a call? 3am, does that hour even exist? Well, I went to bed at 3.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Or was it Thursday? No. Thursday. I'm trying to get all this studio done. The problem is, like, because I was doing this studio in winter, it's actually... If you want to do work in winter that requires you to be outside, like, with cutting tools and that kind of thing, it's a real problem because there's only, like... Eight hours of daylight maximum. And of course, the weather can be rainy one day, in which case it's a real problem with power tools outside. So, you know, it goes dark at four o'clock and then you can't see anything that you're cutting with your um, miter saw. Or, you know, I had to, I had to route out the um, slots in the desk as well. So it really, you know, you've got to get the outside work done by four o'clock and then the tools put away and then you can come inside and start drilling holes in walls and stuff. Uh, I'll be putting it in a video. I, I did talk about it in great detail yesterday, Harry. So forgive me for not wanting to go through all the detail again, but I will put it in a video soon anyway. So you can see what I've done. Just ordered some more cables earlier so many cables it's amazing how much you accumulate cables and adapters and power cables audio cables video cable <laughs> i threw a whole lot away just before christmas like um the old like dvi ones like nobody uses dvi now the cards don't have dvi that most monitors don't come with dvi it's all display port and hdmi so I have all these like dvi cables lying around going i don't need these why am i keeping them It was dark here at 10 a.m. this morning. Blimey. Taxi driver yourself, start your night shift in an hour. Are weekends better for you as a taxi driver? Or does it... Or is it just different people? Like, is there a particular... Is, I would imagine, like, Saturday... 
Saturday morning at 2 a.m. It's going to be pretty full with all the people coming out the pub. But also then people coming out the pub are like not paying you, arguing, throwing up in the back of your cab. Or, you know, in the midweek, you don't get that, but you get the businessmen or something to tip you. I mean, how does it work? You're building your own sleeve cables for your computer. Okay. I don't think it's the right time of day for Coyote, to be honest. Previous card on R9 had HDMI, two mini display ports, and two DVI. New card has two HDMI, one, two display ports, and one DVI. Well, my 1080, I've had a 1080 and a 1080 Ti, and they both have three display ports and one HDMI. Like, DVI is just not a thing. And it's massive, DVI, compared to, D to display port. Do you like driving through Switzerland and ETS2, Muffins? Sure. You went to Chris to buy a wheel. They sold out all the wheels, but I had Logitech yokes. Ah, well, you see, Logitech bought um, SciTech. So they're basically rebranding all the yokes now, aren't they? startled something something just ran off Ooh. The heck is that? That's not an observation tower. You have an NVIDIA 1050. DVI tops out at 660 hertz. Yeah, exactly, THU. Exactly. Flesh, left lung, and heart. You see how it's starting to get whiter now. Not the animals will want, but it's XP and score and money, isn't it? So, what on earth is this a mine shaft? It did say back there there was a, a mining place here. Yep, that looks like mining, which basically means you can almost guarantee there's going to be a trophy item around here. The question is, where would they hide it? This would be an obvious place. You get a Titan XP. I'm not really sure there's any point buying a Titan as a gamer. Unless you're doing like... Unless you're a professional graphics guy doing loads of rendering. See, NVIDIA's basically aiming the Titan in a different direction now. They've already said that. Like, the, the 1080 Ti is more or less your, your best gaming graphics card, whereas the titan is aimed at people who are doing professional work like you can line up titans and just render all day on them that's why they've changed the price as well i mean don't get me wrong but they're a really good card the only thing to bear in mind icarus is um the time of year now 
Uh, Nvidia tend to start announcing things soon. So whatever they've got up their sleeve for this year, around about March time is when they start announcing it. That's when they start announcing all the new kit so that you can go to shows in summer and see it all. Given you can go up here, I'm thinking the collectible might be up at the top. I remember when I went to, um, about 12 months ago, I went to uh, Bit Tech Place, and they have a, a company that, that um, can't remember the name of the company now, they're over near North London, St Albans area. They they do a lot of um, like intro credits for people like Nvidia. So you know when you see all these like amazing effects where you'll you'll see like a graphics card and all the pieces will fly off, and they'll talk about how many cores it has and they'll fly through it and all these like wonderful stuff. Um, they do all that kind of thing for clients, and they had a server room and they opened the door and the noise was unbelievable, and it was just. Rack upon rack upon rack upon rack upon rack of Titan. Uh, uh, yeah, Titan. Not the new Titan, like the previous Titan. Just tens of thousands of pounds of these graphics cards lined up being cooled down. Massive server farm. Just a huge rendering farm it was. Um, hmm. So maybe the collectible's not up here. Can't go up any further. It's really staring back. Yes, it is. So that means it's flicked out of um, window mode and gone back to full screen mode, isn't it? There you go. can hear that thing, but I can't see it. Oh boy. They just ran. Sniper in a tower. I don't ever hit that. I, I zeroed it for 75 beaters and aimed slightly high because I thought they're about 100 knot. It may have. I need something else. It may have dropped below them. Can you jump off? You can do, probably, if you can get over the top. I hit the pole? Did I? No way. In theory, that was a spine shot. Scope is higher than barrel. Yeah. It's annoying though, isn't it? Because like, you, in real life, in real life, you would have, even though you're looking down the scope one eye, you can open that eye and just instantly see the periphery around you. Whereas in this, you're like, I don't know where the barrel is. Well, I don't know what this can, collectible could be, assuming there is one. Let's have a look around the back here. Yeah, exactly. You would have laid it on the on the metal. Of course, you would. I'm so tempted to shoot. I'm so tempted. Oh my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too cute. I'm not doing it. I had it in my scope and everything.
No, it doesn't look like there is. I'd say, I mean, it's bright, bright flashing blue. Where's the one that I shot then? He'll steal your stream. How can you let him live? <laughs> Imposter. Wait, I was on that staircase, wasn't I? Means it was around about here-ish, I think. Your one-fingered exploding squirrel technique is weak. Get better kung fu. I should have run over to it and just, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's find out who the real squirrel is. I don't get... I thought I shot this one in the spine. And yet I can't find a track. Discoverable right there. Sorry, what? Where's this animal? Rabbit Panda, how you doing, sir? Nope, nothing in here. So we've got an animal that got shot that just disappeared. And an obvious place to put a collectible, but doesn't have one. Oh, the green flag, got you. Nodum was the main region for mining during the early 20th century. Although active mining shut down in the 1930s, the remains of the operations can still be seen. Epic panning shot. Um... I thought we shot that thing here somewhere. Hey, Sind. I hit the railing on both shots. Are you actually serious? That's insane. Right, I'm going to nip for a quick bio. And be right back. Thank you for 41 months, Cornwall boy. Pyrotech 2, I apologise for not uh, welcoming you to the nuthouse. Thank you for your support, Pyrotech. I am back. Uh oh, can I hear something.
Whoa. You just saw Santa fly by and there were a few, a few unicorns strolling past. Dang it! You can get so much XP for unicorns. Uh. What? Wait. You saw two pigs flying as well. It was there, wasn't it? That's a mating call, believe it or not. You bought a GT Omega Master XL, same as yours, the discount code, I have to say. It's seriously comfortable, Char. I completely agree with you, Warrior. I'm glad you like it, and thank you for using my code. I just shot an animal. <laughs> Where did it go? I was expecting a corpse, not a track. That's a coyote. Wait, a coyote wins me? I can go mad now. The last three shots I've made, everything is missed. Well, at least we know that Coyote moved through here. Might have aimed slightly too high. I was going to go 75 meters, aim slightly high, but I figured he was at 100, but he may have only been at 70. Diogo, thank you for five months. I'll get there, like, no blood trail. Honestly, I'm really beginning to wonder now. <laughs> Thank you. Flesh wound. Missed. Let's go this way and continue the hunt. Coyote snuck in while you were sleeping and bent the rifle. <laughs> it's, a t it's actually a plausible explanation. Uh, maybe they don't move anymore now because there's a maniac shooting the air or metal poles all the time. <laughs> Sind, just out of curiosity, why do you capitalize every letter of every word in that sentence? Because that, that... You'd have to literally press the shift key to keep doing that so it's more effort so it's an obviously deliberate thing so now i'm curious So this is the kind of place where if you sit here for a bit, things start wandering past you.
I see people do that online too and asked, and the best answer I got was out of habit. Well, can't you just teach yourself a correct habit? Like, how did you get yourself into that position where it became a habit? Do we put in more effort in than you need to? And grammatically, it's incorrect. Fin guy, thank you for six months. Is the game trolled me? Oh, I just heard something. Oh my god. What is that rabbit doing? Is it eating? Is it having a seizure? That was brill. Yeah, maybe it was like listening to um, some bass. <laughs> just like this. In its head, just listening to its favourite song. Bear on your right, I'm sure. I can hear something. I can hear footsteps like right next to me here. Well, I can't shoot a bow with this thing. Capitalize certain words at work just to spell out rude work rude words secretly. I just ran off, I heard it. I can hear it. I'm not really trying to take the bear out because I just can't get it with this gun. There it is. At least know where it went now. You went on a ride of your bicycle and the rear axle snapped off. Sounds to me more like you didn't tighten the axle nut or something and it just came off rather than snap. It's only a baby bear anyway, 120 to 186 kilos.
verstehen. Did you see the nine legendary albino brown bird before that? I've never seen any of the legendary stuff. Or the super rare animals. Ooh. Hello. Nice antlers. What she said. And I've got the right rifle for it. That's a rock. No, why are you running? least two of them. Hmm. You killed only Ranger 243 weapon and got a gold oh, trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you kill? This place is crazy. I want the mail. I don't know where the mail went. He runs into those trees, I think. Jules! Thousand bits, are we there yet, lol? Almost, Jules. Nearly. Thank you for the bitch, Jules. Hmm. I can kind of see why there's a, um... A, uh, a structure you can build here. Because this seems like a very busy kind of area. White tailed deer. Which one have I got? Mail deer went to the right. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Might build a structure. Mr. Stillman, 21 months. Good evening, Paul. It's a pleasure to be a sub for yet another month. Thank you very much for your support, Mr. Stillman. Bit annoyed that we lost the um the Mel Deer was coming down here. And then he went into that bit and I lost him. I don't know where he went. I believe that. The only thing here now is the bar. 
just sat there walk, watching the uh, the deer walk past. That'd have to be a good shot, wouldn't it? To kill a bow with a, a 270. Possibly a neck would do it. Let's have a go. There's nothing else to shoot now. That went well. Yes, there's bullet drop. However, the bullet drop only kicks in over about 200 meters. If you get on the firing range, you can test it out. It goes like 200 meters, no drop. 300, a little bit. 400, quite a bit. 500, quite a lot. I don't even know why the bear sat here and just looked in that direction. Flesh, thoracic spine, left lung? Left lung? No way is that left lung. Look at that, what a shot. to get this discovered still no coyote go bands i don't know if it models it to that level Two weeks of no internet due to finally to the moving. I finally managed to get back on the hunter today. Within one minute, you kill three birds. I, I mean, the only way I've ever done that kind of multi bird killing is if you're lucky enough to come across them in like an open area, like a frozen lake or something, and you can just go bang, bang, bang as they're all kind of running off. No, the game is not free, but you will need to buy it once. There's a couple of DLCs you can get, like the uh, the Frozen map and the 4x4, but it's mostly a self-contained game. You don't need to buy anything else. The original Hunter was free, but it was broken in many ways. Just realized I was still zeroed on 150. So that just went straight over its head. Mr. Fredman, 20 months ago I went nuts. I know it's crazy, but you're worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Fredman. Flesh wound. Test but a flesh wound. That's the only problem with zeroing.